Well, Jesse, we're here at the Premier League Enterprise Challenge. Just firstly, explain exactly what that is. So it's a Premier League funded programme um, that tasks young people aged 13 to 15 a challenge that's set by the Premier League around the business world of football. Um, so this year's challenge is around how clubs can engage uh, with the fan base in America and how they can attract new fans in America and also encourage US fans to come and visit a QPR home game. This year um, we've been really fortunate, we've got uh, Lee Hu, CEO of um, QPR, we've got Ned Manua, first team captain, we've also got uh, Declan Murphy from the Dorset Hotels, Priya Pallam from London Imperial College and Matt Coppins from Westfield. Um, so we're trying to look to engage with local businesses that, that will have an expertise in marketing um, and PR. I think it was great just having the, the kids come in and do presentations. Um, good, good for their compliments. Good to also see, you know, they've put a little bit of thought into these things. So, um, yeah, they've given me some, some ideas to think about, that's for sure. It's good to, to see young people, you know, thriving at something and being given a challenge and seeing how they respond. I think uh, some of the ideas that they came up with are things which I'd sort of suggest myself and I'm, I'm probably, probably twice their age. So, uh, yeah, it's, as I say, it was, it was good fun. It's a competition format. Some people have likened it to kind of a Dragon's Den style event. Um, so the schools are competing firstly against each other and the winning school from today will go forward to the regional semi-finals. Um, and there they'll be representing QPR and their school against other clubs and schools uh, with the chance to go through to the national final. The winner with the Regis is number two, Hammersmith Academy. There was some there where I thought I'd expect this in a, in a senior management team meeting, you know, that, that's how good the presentation was. So it just goes to show some of it is, is about ideas, some of it is about, you know, the knowledge that kids have today of, of, of the various programs that are out there, which blows people like me away. Hammersmith Academy, congratulations on winning here the Enterprise Challenge here at Loftus Road. Just firstly explain briefly what you had to do. We had to create a like an idea or a, a program so that the QPR football team could become well known and it could become better known in America. So we created an idea for a soccer team or a football um, um, scheme over the holidays into America and then we'd send a basketball coaches from America into England so that was our idea. You've got an A level in business studies as well so I would imagine it brought back some memories did it? Uh, yeah it certainly did, it certainly did yeah trying to convince people that you know what you're talking about and all that stuff but they, as I say they were, they were really good, some of them did a lot of research and they understood you know the, t the task that they were given, it was quite a complex one but then they came out on the other end and they knew exactly what they were talking about and it's literally it's unequivocal you can't argue with anything they said. At first what we did was think of a main idea of what we wanted to go forward with and that was our summer camps. At first I was kind of nervous but then as, as I had gone through the presentation I got more confident with what I was saying and I knew what we were doing. We've learnt some new skills and we've also learnt how to communicate with other people and how to get our ideas across in a way which is suitable for everyone. You could see that it meant a lot to every single one of them trying to pitch the idea and although you know a lot of them aren't QPR fans. All of a sudden, the, the cause of trying to sort of grow QPR as a brand itself, it suddenly felt it was very close to home for them. Take it now, you're coming to a QPR game, so we've got three QPR fans in front of us, right? Yeah, I guess so. 